So, good morning again, grade 10. So, for today, we will have lesson number 7. And that is about finding the end term of a geometric sequence. Now, kung kay arithmetic sequence, hinanap din po natin si end term, hanggang dito po kay geometric sequence, ay hahanapin po natin si end term. Now, let us now have first our learning targets. So, for today's lesson, you will be able to determine the end term of a geometric sequence. Now, ano kaya yung formula na gagamitin natin in finding the end term of a geometric sequence? Now, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Again, we have a sub n, that is the n term, is equal to a sub 1 is always the first term. R is the common ratio as discussed nung unang lesson natin kahapon. And the value of N ay the same dun sa term na hinahanap po natin. Now, para mas madaling maintindihan, paano ba gagamitin yung formula na yan? Let's have example number 1. Now, for example number 1, we have the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. Obviously, this is a geometric sequence. Kasi, if we will have the common ratio, or if we will get the common ratio, 3 divided by 1 is 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 27 divided by 9 is also 3. So, may common ratio tayo na... 3. So, ano yung gagawin natin kay 1, 3, 9, 27? So, find the tenth term. So, meron lang kasi tayong first, second, third, fourth term. So, ang kailangan daw natin ay yung pang sampu na term. Now, kung hahanapin si pang sampung term, so therefore, that is denoted by A sub 10. Now, Let's down muna natin ano yung mga magagamit natin. Kanina, ano yung sabi natin na common ratio? The common ratio is 3. Oh, the first term of the sequence. Ano yung first term? That is 1. Ano pa? We have yung n. Oh, ano ba yung magiging value ng n? n ay the same dun sa nakasubscript kay hinahanap. Since hinahanap ang tenth term, so therefore, ang value ng n is also 10. Now, in solving, always start with your formula para alam nyo kung ano po ang is a substitute. So, we will have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times the common ratio raised to N minus 1. Take note, grade 10, that the Exponent n minus 1 ay kay r lang po nakalagay. So that means si common ratio ang i-raise natin to whatever number yung makukuha mamaya. A substitute. Hinahanap is a sub 10 equals, what is the first term? Hindi-list na natin kanina. That is 1 times, ano yung common ratio? Ito na rin, 3. Ta raise to, what is n? n is 10. So, we have 10 minus 1 equals Multiply ba agad natin 1 times 3? The answer is no. Kasi following yung PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So, mauuna muna yung exponent na 3 raised to 10 minus 1 before multiplying kay 1. So, we have 1 times 3 raised to what is 10 minus 1. Obviously, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. O, i-multiply na ba yung 3? Hindi pa rin po. Exponent muna, 3 raised to 9. So, we have 1 times 3 raised to 9 is what number? O, you may use your, cal your calculator. Saan po sa calcul yun? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng 3 raised to 9? Ang 3 raised to 9, di ba? Ito yung base, ito ang exponent. Ibig sabihin, multiply yung 3 ng 9 times sa sarili niya. So, that is 3 
times 3, 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 times 3. Or on your calculators, iba-iba po yung button. Minsan po ay, kung ito yung button nyo, ang nakalagay po ay X, tapos may box sa taas. Yung iba naman po ay Y raised to X. Yung iba po ay yung carrot. Yung parang naka-arrow pa taas. So, yan po yung value ng, yan po yung mga button for exponent. So, pipindutin nyo muna yung 3. Then, press nyo kung alin man dyan. Then, tsaka nyo pipindutin yung 9. So, 3 raised to 9 will give you 19,683. And 19,683 times 1 will give you the 10th term of the sequence. And that is still the same na 19,683. So, therefore, that is the 10th term of this arithmetic, ah, geometric sequence. Okay, so therefore, si 19,683 is the 10th term of this geometric sequence. Let us now have the second example. So for example number 2, we have 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8, and so on. Now, ano yung napapansin natin with this example? Yung mga sign, di ba? Yung sign ay nag-alternate. Positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. So that is one of the characteristics ng geometric sequence. Pwede po kay geometric sequence na mag-alternate ang signs. Now, let us check for the common ratio. O, ano yung maging common ratio niyan? Diba? We have negative 2 divided by 1. That is negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2. Since mag-iba ang sign, ang sagot ay negative. 4 divided by 2, 2. Kaya negative 2 pa din. Then negative 8 divided by 4 still is negative 2. So, therefore, geometric sequence yan. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, pag ganito naman, automatically, this is a geometric sequence. Ano daw ang hahanapin? We need to find the ninth term. And the ninth term is denoted by a sub 9. So, given this sequence, hahanapin daw natin si a sub 9. Okay, list daw ulit natin yung katulad kanina. Ano yung nakuha natin common ratio? Negative 2 divided by 1, that is negative 2. Next, a sub 1. First term, ayun, yung unang-una. So, that is still 1. Next, value ng n. O, pang ilang term bang hinahanap? 9 term. So, therefore, since 9 term ang hinahanap, the value of n is 9. Again, start with the formula. So, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Uh, substitute na natin yung mga nakuha natin na value. So, a sub 9, yung hinahanap, equals, what is the first term? We have 1 times the common ratio na negative 2 raised to n, so that is 9 minus 1, equals, yun munang nasa taas. So, 1 times negative 2, 9 minus 1 will give you 8. Now, this is important. Kapag meron kayong negative number na i raise to any exponent, again, negative number, yung base or negative number yung nasa loob, tapos i raise to an exponent, lagi pong tatandaan na kapag sa calc u, dapat ay naka-enclose ng parenthesis. Again po, dapat po sa calc u ay naka-enclose sa parenthesis. Kasi po, let's say for example, kapag sa calculator nyo, ganda yung ginawa nyo. For example, negative 2 raised to 2. Wala po sa parenthesis yung negative 2. Itetreat po yan ang calculator nyo as si positive, si 2 lang yung nakaraise sa second power. Iiwanan niya po yung negative sign. Kaya ang ibibigay niyang sagot sa inyo ay negative 4. Which is alam naman natin na mali kasi 
Negative 2 raised to 1, ibig sabihin niya, negative 2 times negative 2. And negative times negative ay positive. So, kailangan po kapag pipindutin niyo yan sa calcule, i-enclose niyo muna sa parenthesis. Dapat naka sa loob o nasa loob siya nung parenthesis. Tsaka niyo pipindutin yung ex exponent na button, then input 2. So, kapag ganyan po, since naka parenthesis na siya, so, therefore, yung buong negative 2 na yung i-raise niya to the exponent. Kaya tama na yung ibibigay niya na 4. Now, katulad dito, yung 1 times negative 2 raised to 8. Kapag hindi niyo nilagay yung parenthesis sa negative 2 sa calculus nyo, ang ibibigay niya sagot sa inyo is negative 256, which is wrong. Kasi... A negative number raised to a to an even exponent ay positive. So dapat ang magiging sagot na dito kasi ay positive 256. Basta ito lang yung mahalaga. Huwag niyo lang kakalimutan si parenthesis. Bago niyo erase yung isang negative number sa exponent and close niyo siya sa parenthesis. Para tama yung sagot na ibigay ng calculus. So 1 times 256 is equal to 256. Again po, negative 2 raised to 9 minus 1, 9 minus 1 is 8. The negative 2 raised to 8, nasa loob ng parenthesis ha, is equal to positive 256. And positive 256 times 1 is equal to 256. And let's now have example number 3. So for this example, we have 81, 27, 9, and so on. Now, ang hahanapin naman daw po is A sub 8 or the 8th term of the sequence. So again, kung hinahanap si A sub 8, pwede natin list na muna yung ibang given. O given si first term na 81. O, ano yung common ratio? 27 divided by 81 on your calculators. Use the fraction ha para mas madali po. That is one third. Nine divided by twenty-seven is one third. Three divided by nine is also one third. So therefore, the common ratio is one third. The next, ano ang magiging n? Since ang inahanap is a sub eight, so therefore ang n will also be eight. Again, start with the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So substitute a sub 8 equals, the first term is 81 times the common ratio, 1 third fraction na po. Raised to n is 8 minus 1. Again po, simplify muna yung nasa taas. 8 minus 1 is 7. Next, 81 times. Katulad po ng negative numbers, kapag may fractions, kailangan po ay nasa loob pa rin ng parenthesis kapag pipindutin sa calcul. So, si 1 third raised to 7, ang lalabas sa ibang calcul dapat ay ganito. 1 over 3 raised to 7. Si 1 third ay nasa parenthesis bago siya i-raise to the exponent. Nasa loob pa rin po kasi po kapag wala yung parenthesis, ang gagawin po ng calculator nyo ay yung denominator lang ang i-raise to that exponent. Iiwanan niya si numerator. Kaya kailangan kapag may exponent, huwag na huwag kakalimutan ilagay sa loob ng parenthesis. So, si 1 third raised to 7, that is equal to 1 over, medyo malaki na kasi number, that is 2,187. Then again, multiplication na yan. Lahat ng whole number ay may over 1. Then, multiply na numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. 81 times 1 that is equal to 81 over 1 
times 2,187 is equal to 2,187. Obviously, hindi yan yung magiging final answer natin. We need to reduce it to its lowest term. And the lowest term of 81 over 2,187 is... 1 over 27 and 1 over 27 is now the 8th term of this geometric sequence so again saan ang galing si 1 over 27 that is the lowest term po the 81 over 2187 let us now have example number 4. This will be the last example. So we have given the first term is 2. The common ratio is 1 half. Ang hahanapin po is A sub 7 or the 7th term. So again, given sa atin grade 10 is A sub 1 is 2. The common ratio is 1 half. Hinahanap A sub 7. So, start the time with the formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. Hinahanap po is A sub 7 equals the first term na given is 2 times the common ratio given again is 1 half raised to the value of n since hinahanap is the 7th term. So, the value of n will be 7. Kung ano man yung nakasubscript dito. Minus 1. So, we have 2 times 1 half. And then, 7 minus 1 will give you 6. Then again, exponent muna bago mag-multiply. So, 2 times 1 half raised to 6. Again, pag may fraction or may negative number na naka-raise to n the exponent, Lagi po sa calc ay i-enclose sa loob ng parentheses. So, 1 half raised to 6 will give you 1 over 64. Again, 1 half raised to 6 will give you 1 over 64. And again, 2 times 1 over 64, lahat ng whole number ay may denominator na 1. Numerator to numerator. 2 times 1 is 2 over 1 times 64 is 64. Now, is this the final answer? No. Bakit hindi pa siya final answer? Pwede pang i-lowest term. So, kapag ni-lowest term natin yan, 2 over 64, saan ba divisible? Parehas si 2 at si 64. So, parehas sa 2. 2 divided by 2, 1 over 64 divided by 2 is 32. So the seventh term and the final answer is 1 over 32. So again, grade 10, in finding the n term of a geometric sequence, we have the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And again, yung mga reminders sa sinasabi ko ha, kapag may fraction or may negative number raised to an exponent, lagi pong lalagyan ng parentheses muna bago i-raise an exponent sa mga calcul nyo. And close yung muna ng parentheses, yung negative number or yung fraction before nyo i-raise to an exponent. Para hindi po kayo malito. Again, grade ha, there is a discussion board after this video na pwede nyo pong ilagay yung tanong. Magtanong po kung hindi naiintindihan yung lesson para po matulungan ko rin kayo. So again, that is lesson number 7. That is about finding the end term of a geometric sequence. Okay, thank you grade 10 and God bless us all.